Hey guys, Tate Seward Roy here. I am back with a different kind of video this time. Obviously you can see my face. I don't usually show that because when I'm playing a game I don't really have a camera for the PlayStation. So this video is a little different. I'm on my phone. Anyways, I get the idea about Supergirl and how her or Superman even, they transform. And it's like they all, you always want to know like where do they hide their boots under their regular clothes. Like with Superman you can almost believe it because he has his long slack pants like for his work um, though it still doesn't really fit inside those shoes but then you got like Supergirl who is often wearing like high heels at work and a skirt no hosiery on and then she takes off her blouse or whatever and has her uniform underneath a superhero outfit and all of a sudden now she's got like tights on which is not impossible to have underneath her stem leg you know on your legs and then also her boots just come out of nowhere when she was totally wearing high heels and it's just implausible or impossible basically um, now some people say they spin really quick or whatever they just maybe like within a half second they rush to their house or something and change but they emphasize it like they're ripping it off and they're wearing underneath already so it just doesn't really make sense now you might not know this or maybe you do but I am a huge Power Ranger fan have been since I was a little kid um, Original has always been my favorite, especially Tommy the White Ranger. Um, but I also love Zeo, especially since Tommy was a Red Ranger and Red's my favorite color. Anyways, in Zeo, they're more for something like this. Or in the case of the Gold Ranger, although they didn't actually have it in the show, it would have looked something like this. Now, the way this works is they would not have it on their wrist yet, they go. Like that, and then like this. Sorry, you can't see it. Let me back up a bit. So they, you know, they go, and then they show up on this wrist, and they do this, then they go like this, and then it would connect. Of course, they didn't actually make that sound, but when it connected, you would see a bit of a light. And they would say like Zero Ranger 5 Red in Tommy's case or whatnot. So I got to thinking, what if in some, I don't know, hybrid universe of Power Rangers and Supergirl, there was a Zeonizer made for a Supergirl. And it wouldn't like give her a power so she already has her powers. But what if instead this piece, where like the hole is and everything, it looked like a Supergirl's logo or even Superman or whatever, the House of L, the S symbol. And, you know, I had those like little holes and hollows like this one does. But basically, she would use that. And then this crystal, which is all red here, but maybe hers is like, you know, it's one piece, but it's like red, blue, and yellow. And when she combines, she might say something like, I don't know, Supergirl mode or something like that, or Supergirl power. And it lights up those colors, and then her suit materializes on her. And then, of course, she just says power down or whatever to go back to her normal outfit. Um, now obviously it wouldn't include a helmet because she doesn't wear one, unless she wanted to in that universe. But basically that was just my idea, I was just thinking, you know, why not that, because that would make a lot more sense than supposedly having clothes underneath her that wouldn't make any logical sense. Yeah, she would just, you know, go, boom, and there she goes. I don't know, it's just my thoughts. Anyways, what do you guys think? Uh, thought I'd make this video because it's just been on my mind for a few days now and I was like, I need to get that out there. Anyways, thank you guys for liking, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.